Does it really matter where the tobacco in your cigar comes from? I mean, is there really that much of a difference between Dominican tobacco and Nicaraguan? To put it simply, yes. It does matter, and there is a difference. In this video, we'll tell you some of the regions where cigars are made and what you can generally expect from the tobacco grown there. First up, Cuba. Any discussion about cigar creation has to start with Cuba, the birthplace of premium cigars. Generations of tobacco farmers cultivated the soil and fostered a cigar industry that was steeped in the traditions we still see employed throughout the world today. The majority of the tobacco produced in Cuba comes from the western side of the island, in and around the Pinar del Rio province. Here you'll find strong leaves with a very elastic quality and a spicy, floral profile which makes for a robustly flavored cigar. The Cuban Revolution and U.S. trade embargo forced many cigar makers to flee the island nation in the early 60s, bringing centuries of cigar making knowledge with them to the neighboring countries in the region. Cuban cigars were known for superior quality, but decades of work in other countries has helped level the playing field. But because Cuban cigars are still banned in the United States, they still carry a certain air of mystique with them, which makes them very appealing to anyone who can get their hands on one. One of the countries that saw an influx of Cuban cigar makers after the revolution was the Dominican Republic. A majority of Dominican tobacco produced today is derived from Cuban seeds and is primarily grown in the northern portion of the country near the town of Santiago. Historically, Dominican tobacco is known for its rich, complex flavor and mellow strength, but over the last few years we've seen fuller, heavier tobacco being produced there. Nicaragua. Havana reigned supreme for generations. But a case can be made that the city of Esteli in Central American country of Nicaragua has become the new capital for the best premium cigars on the market today. The primary growing regions in Nicaragua are in the northern part of the country near Esteli, Condega, and the Jalapa Valley, and on the island of Ometepe. The rich volcanic soil of Nicaragua adds a sweet, earthy flavor to the already spicy leaf, which results in highly complex flavored tobacco. Honduran tobacco, which mostly comes from the Hamastron Valley area, just across the border from Nicaragua and southern Honduras, is known for tobacco that is a little darker than its southern neighbor. It's full-bodied, strong, and often described as having a nutty, earthy, and leathery profile. Honduras' unique microclimate is very similar to the major growing provinces in Cuba, making it the ideal place to grow authentic Cuban seed Corojo tobacco. Another hotbed for Cuban cigar makers after the revolution was Ecuador. Ecuador is one of the most unique tobacco growing regions in the world. Its soil is rich in volcanic ash, which many believe makes it perfect for growing tobacco. It's also located near the equator, which means it receives an abundance of sunshine, but with a near constant cloud covering, tobacco can be grown here without the need for shade, which is not only cost saving, it makes it ideal for growing Connecticut and Sumatran wrappers. The region is known for producing high-quality, silky wrappers that are truly beautiful. Speaking of wrappers, some of the finest wrapper leaf tobacco in the world comes from the Connecticut River Valley, located just north of Hartford, Connecticut. Mellow, creamy, and smooth are the most common descriptions for the light brown to slightly yellow shade grown leaf, while the sun-grown Connecticut broadleaf is typically darker, sweeter, and slightly heavier. Another region known for its wrappers is Indonesia, where the tropical islands of Sumatra and Java have produced some of the most beloved wrappers in the industry. Dark in color and mellow to neutral in flavor, the Sumatra wrapper works perfectly with bolder filler blends. The Sumatran seed has spread to other regions of the world, most notably Cameroon in the Central African Republic and Mexico. Sumatran seed-generated wrappers in Cameroon and the Central African Republic are known for their reddish-brown color, rich flavor, strong aroma, and distinctive toothy green. The San Andreas Valley of Mexico is famous for the sun-grown variant of the Sumatra leaf known as Mexican Sumatra. Often used for Maduro wrappers, Mexican tobacco is known to be dark, full of flavor, and somewhat spicy. For more information on cigar-growing regions and other Cigar 101 topics, visit CigarsInternational.com.